I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it right here. Moon bounce in the backyard with NC1I. Uh, he gave me a minus 27 on my uh, signal. He's a minus 24 is what mine says. And I'm talking to him scheduled on um, HB9Q logger, okay? This is 50 watts on Q65, 60 Bravo. So 60 seconds of subband B, learning a lot about this stuff. I got the Mirage um, amplifier only running about 50 watts because the battery on the, uh, I've been doing this practically all night. It's like 11.30 right now. The, uh, see, I'm only at 50% power because this is dead. So I can't put the 10 volt or the uh, external LiPo from this into it to get 10 watts. So I'm driving the amp with five watts. So it should be around 50 watts output. Um, I moved it over here. I'm sorry, I'm so excited. Okay, here, here it is right here. Look at that, Armstrong method. I didn't do anything but just go like this, right? Boop, right there. That's good for another like two minutes. <laughs> I bounced the signal off the moon with a friggin' ICOM 705 and an antenna I've had in the box for eight years at 50 watts, right there. There it is. There it is, look. Congrats. <laughs> this is awesome. I am excited. I could sleep a happy man now. Okay, this has been keeping me up for days. I'm gonna get a screenshot of that right there. Just for the simple fact that I fought that antenna, I fought the antenna, uh, I, I fought, you know, it, look, I, I just learned something else I had set up wrong. Um, dude, people said it wasn't gonna work. I can't do it. You won't do it. Eric, this is a waste of time. Even people online said, you know, if you don't have 500 watts or whatever in this, you're never going to do it. There it is. I didn't even, I mean, I'm doing that right with my hand. See, it's off again. See, look. Look how easy I'm doing this. Watch. ta <laughs> Right on the moon again. And um, I, because it's so late, hey, look. I mean, I, I have found that it's not as critical as you'd think. Um... I could let this ride two or three minutes and it won't be exactly on there, but somehow he was getting my signal. I was getting his. Um, so I'm going to keep this video short because uh, I need to go to bed. It's midnight, but I had to do this. Now, being that this, I've been doing this all, all night, about six o'clock, 630. The moon was now about, yeah, six o'clock. Moon's right here. And it went up like this, right? So when the moon's over there, lower elevation, I'd be able to talk to those guys in Europe that I was looking at their traces online, but I couldn't decode them. I had all kinds of stuff set up. Um, so being that this is here, I'm just basically talking up and down somewhere else in the United States. I think he's in Fox November 32. But like if I were to do this, you know, if I were to pull an all-nighter when the moon's way over there, dude, I'd, I'd be able to you know, get some serious contact and, and a lot of ground gain at that low level. So thank you guys. I am going to bed, but I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. I'm excited. I'm in flip flops with socks. I was getting eaten by no seams. Oh, there it is. Look at this. I am thrilled to be at the other end of your first EME QSL. QSL card go in the mail tomorrow and I'll upload the log of the world in the next few days. Cool, man. There you have... Go! Started. <laughs> I gotta go back. Good night.